Electric bills got you down. Maybe you rent or maybe you own. Maybe you rent or maybe you own. You can live with people or alone. You can live with people or alone. A low heat bill is what you need. A low heat bill is what you need. To help you live within your means. To help you live within your means. You can save energy and still stay warm. You can save energy and still stay warm. This energy wrap is to inform. This energy wrap is to inform. Don't freeze in the dark or rant or rave. Don't freeze in the dark or rant or rave. Here's some tips to help you save. Yes, you can save money and energy by taking a few simple steps. It doesn't matter whether you rent or own. These tips will keep your money in your pocket. The best thing about the energy conservation tips that our friends from the Madrona Youth Theater are about to show you is that they cost little or nothing. On top of that, they're easy. Most are removable, so you can use them even if you rent. And they really work. Electric heat reduces chill. Electric heat reduces chill. You know that's half your electric bill. You know that's half your electric bill. Keep your heat around 65. Keep your heat around 65. Watch your heat bill take a dive. Watch your heat bill take a dive. Don't use heat all night and all day. Don't use heat all night and all day. Cause what you wear, cause what you pay. Cause what you wear, cause what you pay. If you're cold and your temperature dies. Something hot to warm you inside. If you heat with electricity, that's the biggest part of your bill. So saving heat equals saving the most money on your bill. Nobody likes to feel cold, but the good news is you don't have to be cold to save money. Quite the opposite. With these tips, you can stay warmer and save money too. To start with, let's talk about keeping your body warm. Wear several layers of lightweight, loose-fitting clothing. Layers keep you a lot warmer, and they're in style. Feeling a little cool? Before you reach for that thermostat, try adding another layer. Drinking something hot always makes you feel cozy. And if you're sitting still, an afghan and a little company can really keep you toasty. Now that we have you warm and cozy, it's important that you not use heat when and where you don't need it. If you have thermostats in every room, only heat the rooms you're in. And turn them all off when you're not at home. At night, don't heat the whole room, just heat yourself with an electric blanket or mattress pad, comforters or flannel sheets. Seal your windows and your doors. Seal your windows and your doors. Carpet helps warm up your floors. Carpet helps warm up your floors. Weather stripping stops the drafts. Warm air stays in, you block its path. Warm air stays in, you block its path. Shades and curtains should all stay closed. Shades and curtains should all stay closed. Use door space to keep out the cold. Use door space to keep out the cold. Freezing drafts will do without. Freezing drafts will do without. Or else end up in the poorhouse. Or else end up in the poorhouse. We've told you how to keep warm without using as much heat. It's equally important to keep the heat you do use inside your home. Heat that escapes is literally money out the window. Insulation is the key word here. To insulate your windows, you need to create one to three inches of dead air space. The cheapest way to do this is with flexible plastic and double stick foam tape. You can even get kits at your hardware store. At night, keep your curtains and shades drawn. They create insulating air space too. On sunny days, Open them up and let that natural heat in. Caulk those leaky spots around the doors and windows. Rope caulking is easy. It can be used inside and it's easy to remove. A caulking gun is great for outside. Finally, weather strip around the moving parts of windows and doors. A cloth tube of sand or fiber fill called a door snake can help seal the drafty doors and windows. Make or buy one, or simply substitute a rolled up towel or rug. Long hot baths make you feel high. Long hot baths make you feel high. Take short showers to rectify. Take short showers to rectify. Lower the temp on your washer heater. Lower the temp on your washer heater. Insulated blankets make things cheaper. Insulated blankets make things cheaper. Faucets that drip are simple to fix. Faucets that drip are simple to fix. Repair those leaks is easy and quick. Repair those leaks is easy and quick. Use your brain when you wash clothes. Your 
electric water heater is the second largest energy consumer in your home. It can account for 20 to 50 percent of your bill. Yet hot water is one of the easiest places to save money. First, if your heater is in an unheated area and it's not an energy efficient model, wrap it in an insulating blanket. You can get one at your hardware store and you'll save the cost in less than a year. Remember, handling fiberglass can be irritating, so use the proper protection when installing the blanket. Set your hot water heater to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Any hotter is a waste and it risks scalding. Fix those dripping faucets. They're not just annoying, they waste hot water and that's dollars down the drain. And watch those showers. They cost money too. Keep them short and replace the shower heads with low flow models. Low flow shower heads not only save energy and money, you'll find you run out of hot water less often. Turn down the heat if you're not home. Turn down the heat if you're not home. Shut off TVs and stereo. Shut off TVs and stereo. Cut off the light when the sun comes out. Cut off the light when the sun comes out. Conservation, what this is about. Conservation, what this is about. Keep oven doors shut while you bake. Keep oven doors shut while you bake. Close the fridge when you partake. Close the fridge when you partake. Fill your dishwasher to the max. Fill your dishwasher to the max. Conservation hotline. Little things add up when you're trying to save energy, so don't forget these tips. Keep heaters clean. They're much more efficient that way. Turn down that thermostat. At night, and when you're gone, set it at 55 to 58 degrees. When you're at home, 65 to 68 will keep you very comfortable. Turn things off when you're not using them. Lights, stereos, radios, televisions, they all add up. Keep things shut. Oven doors, refrigerators, outside doors. Don't waste the energy you have paid for. When you're washing dishes and clothes, fill those machines. And use energy efficient cycles like cold water wash and air dry. One last tip. If you rent, please check with your landlord before making any changes. Make every penny of energy count and watch that bill shrink away. For more free information, just call the City Light Conservation Hotline at 625-3800.